I'm Solash Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. Valentine's Day was celebrated on Monday, 14th February, under the cloud of COVID-19 for the third consecutive year. The day is set aside by many the world over to celebrate love in all of its many manifestations. So we ask, do you intend to celebrate Valentine's Day this year? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 25% said yes, and 75% said no. We took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. Um, with regards to Valentine's, I embrace the love concept, because we ought to have love for one another, love for our family members, love for our friends, love for um, various members in society. But I don't celebrate it the way the world celebrates it. But I embrace the love concept and I'm for it. Not in a commercial way, but really and truly love is an action word. So I, I am I'm praying that this season that people demonstrate their love to each other. Well, I'll, I'll not celebrate it, but after Valentine's Day, the 15th of February is my sixth year's birthday. So I'll celebrate the, the day of my birthday instead. Thank you so much. With my children and my wife. Every, every day is supposed to be Valentine and there's no love. So you can only find love, then you celebrate love. But if there's love, then you celebrate it. I mean, every day God made it that you, they say love yourself, as, love your neighbor as yourself, which means every day is supposed to be loved. People around you are supposed to love them, then they love you. But if you map out a particular day to be loved, which means other days should be wasted, there won't be any love. By now we are managing ourselves, but we're supposed to Every day is supposed to be Valentine, actually. Let me put it that way. Uh, no, I won't be celebrating Valentine's this year. No specific reason, but um, to all those who will be celebrating it, I hope they have a wonderful time. I won't be celebrating Valentine's way, but I won't be celebrating Valentine's way. Right? So, we're all supposed to be able to celebrate Valentine's way. We're all supposed to be able to celebrate Valentine's way. By on chance pour l'autre coup, because by la mauvais. Les nous tout ensemble, on va y aller là. Tout les gars, c'est bien. So, il n'y a pas fait sens. Ma oué ça. Um, yes, I'm expecting, I hope I get a chocolate. But, uh, yeah. Why, why do you intend to celebrate it? Um, because it's, it's love. I mean, love is what we need in this type of type of time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely celebrating because it's about the love. No, I won't. I have not celebrated it before. And to all those who want, I wish them all the best. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. Both Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre and Opposition Leader Alain Chastney confirmed last week that they had tested positive for the COVID-19 causing virus. Both the present and the former Prime Minister are fully vaccinated, with the two having received their booster shots. The two political leaders have noted their vaccination status, suggesting that this may be the reason why they did not suffer the symptoms of the disease. So we ask, has the situation with the two political leaders given you greater confidence in the COVID-19 vaccines? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org or Facebook at HTS St. Lucia Official and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.